It's a story by Rwandans about Rwandans. A new movie called Kenya Rwanda releases to limited audiences next month. It looks at the stories behind the 1994 genocide and the people whose lives were forever changed. What's so unique about this particular movie is that the majority of the cast and crew are Rwandan. The stories depicted in the movie are based on real life events. Here's a quick preview. There are people of many faiths here, many Catholics and Muslims, some Tutsi, some Hutus. We have managed to survive many days, but people are losing faith. Would you consider providing counsel or maybe give summons to those who seek it? This film was shot on a shoestring budget, yet it won an award at this year's Sundance Film Festival. Aisha Sasei sat down with the director of Kenya Rwanda to find out what it took to make this movie happen. Oh, Rick Brown, it's great to have you with us. Uh, talk to me about the film Kenya Rwanda and how it came about. Um, Kenya Rwanda, interestingly enough, uh, didn't come out the come about by the usual Hollywood means. I. Uh, was a Peace Corps volunteer in 2000 to 2002 in Ivory Coast. And I, after leaving um, Ivory Coast, I went to film school at NYU. One of my Peace Corps colleagues ended up in Rwanda, and uh, he introduced me to the film's executive producer, um, who's Rwandan genocide survivor, Ishmael Ntiabose. And in 2009, Ishmael asked me to come to Rwanda to help him make this film, and uh, that's how I got involved in Kenya Rwanda, and that's how I ended up in Rwanda. There have been a lot of films, documentaries made about the genocide and survivors. What was it that compelled you to go down that road again? What is it that you thought you could do differently? Well, uh, Ishmael's initial story was about this untold story of uh, the, the Muslim influence on the genocide. Um, I didn't know that when the genocide broke out, that the head mu religious leader, the head Muslim leader, issued a fatwa forbidding uh, Muslims from participating, which inadvertently made mosques the safest place in the country. A lot of people sought shelter there. So immediately I wanted to go to Rwanda to help him just tell that story. But when I got there, you know, you realize in this country where so many people died that everyone had a story. Everyone had a story that was more magical and magnificent and hor horrific than the last story. And I worked with Ishmael and started using some of these real stories to tell a different, to give a kind of a more holistic view of everything that happened. And not just the tragedy, but the life and the love and the humanity. Um, so people got a fuller perspective. Some of the people in this film, even the lead actress, they weren't professional yeah, absolutely. performers. Uh, Talk to me about why you went down that road. You know, we had a very small budget and a very... How much? Um, the production budget was about $250,000. Since then, I mean, that, that's what we had to get it in the can for. You know, we had to shoot the film for that much. Uh, so subsequently, it's about $350,000 with the post. Mm -hmm. But, um, we, and we shot it in 16 days. 16 days. Yes, and we only had about two weeks of prep, so there was not a lot of time to, to run around. So um, we, I was fortunate enough to find a casting director in East Africa who had done a lot of films and uh, he was an assistant prior to this and all the Rwandans that worked on this film we made them we made them the heads of their departments as opposed to being assistants to anyone. Um, he found amazing people and our lead actress was walking by the office one day she came in she had the dem this gentle demeanor and I knew that she was my character and I just asked her would you shave your head for me <laughs> And she said yes, and I said, you have the part. I was struck uh, as we researched the movie and then looked into it, the fact that there's no violence in it. Yeah. We, um, you know, first off, for independent filmmakers out there, violence is expensive. You know, it really that's is. Just it, it, that's just the truth of it. But more than that, you, you, you know, you do not um, humanize people by showing the blood and we wanted to make one drop of blood precious. We wanted to make each life precious, and that's what we set out to do in this film. Did you find it cathartic? Did you find that you were changed by the experience? I, um, I am blown away by what Rwanda as a country has tried to do, is trying to do with the reconciliation and education and, and forgiveness. Um, 
in my own personal life, I would only wish to be that forgiving, you know, and uh, it, it's a lesson for all of us. And I think that um, it, seeing these people, meeting these people, working with these people has challenged me to become a better person and a better filmmaker. That's a good place to leave it. All right, Brian, a pleasure. Thank you. Thank good you luck so the film. much. Thank you.